in this presentation, you will learn the properties of quadrilaterals. Right. To start with, what is a quadrilateral? Right. A quadrilateral is a four sided polygon having four angles that includes square, parallelogram, trapezium, kite, rectangle, and rhombus. Right. What are some examples of quadrilaterals in the real world? That is in our day to day life. What are these examples of quadrilaterals? Right? Look around right now and you surely find rectangles or square. That is your computer screen, a door, a window, a playing card, a sheet of paper, textbook the shapes of many rooms, the walls of all houses and the floor in most of the cases are in the shape of quadrilaterals. So the vast majority of properties of shapes are in quadrilaterals. Now, let us look at the mind map of different kinds of quadrilaterals as they are defined, right? This is quadrilateral, four sides, four angles, right? So in a quadrilateral, we have what you call a trapezium, right? Then from there, the quadrilateral, we have the kite. We have the parallelogram. Then the arrows make sense here, right? If I am on the square, that means all squares are rectangles. That's the arrow pointing to that, but not all rectangles are square, right? I'm here on the rectangles, the arrow is in that direction. That means all rectangles are parallelograms, but not all parallelograms are rectangles. Look at this. Situation square again, I have this arrow in this direction. That means all squares are rhombi, but not all rhombi are squares. Rhombi is just the plural of rhombus, right? Then look at this rhombus, the arrow in this direction. That means all rhombi are parallelograms, but not all parallelograms. Uh, from B. That is very, very important. Now, let us look at the properties of these quadrilaterals. Now, we start with the parallelogram itself, right? We need to know that opposite sides are parallel, as indicated by the sign, right? Then, opposite sides are equal again as indicated by the strokes, right? Then opposite angles are equal as indicated by the markings, right? Consecutive angles, supplementary, right? The word supplementary simply means if you add the two angles, the answer you expect to get is 180 degrees. As an example, angle in A plus angle in B the answer is 180. And consecutive means one following the other. Check at A, the next following A is B. At B, the next following B is C. At C, the next following C is D, and so on and so forth. Right? Diagonals bisect each other. That means the diagonals AC and BD, right? They intersect at N. That means now, when you say bisect, that means they divide each other into equal parts. That means NC is equal to NA and NB is equal to ND. A rectangle, right? A rectangle has four right angles as indicated, right? Then diagonals are equal the diagonals of the rectangle are equal. That is a very important property. Then all properties of the parallelogram. That means of all these properties of the parallelogram that we have seen, 
they are found in a rectangle, right? Then add to that these two, that is diagonals and the angle. You go to the homebars, right? Have equal, four equal angles, right? All the angles are equal, the four of them. Then diagonals bisect opposite angles. That means EG bisect this angle, this angle, then HF bisect this angle and this angle. And remembering that bisect means the angles are equal. That means this angle is equal to this. That is what it means. Then diagonals are perpendicular as shown with this right angle. Perpendicular means they meet at 90 degrees. Right? All properties of parallelogram. That means with these three, you add all the properties of the parallelogram that we have seen. They are also satisfied in the rhombus. Then we look at the square, right? The square has four equal sides and four right angles. As you can see, as denoted by the strokes and the side of the right angle, right? And then add to that all properties of the parallelogram of a rectangle and of the rhombus are found in the square as it will, right? Let's look at the trapezium. Trapezium, one pair of parallel sides. And the parallel sides are what you refer to as the bases. A, D, and B, C are the bases of the trapezium, right? Legs, angles are supplementary. Now, legs, angles, the legs are D, C, and A, B are the legs. But when you say now, Leg angles are supplementary. Supplementary means they add up to 180. So if you look at angle in B and angle in A, if you add them, they give you 180. And again, if you remember when you did transversal line uh, intersecting um, parallel line, right? These are the parallel line that is AD and BC. And if we look at this situation, a, B becomes the transversal line, meaning this angle and this angle are the U angles. That is core interior angles. And U angles or core interior angles are supplementary. That means they add up to 180. The same can be said when you are here, right? The parallel lines are A, D, and B, C. And your D, C now is the transversal line. That means this angle and this angle uh, core interior angles. And when you add them, you get 180. This is what they are saying, legs angles are supplementary, right? And of course, I've already said that DC and AB are the legs, AD and BC are the basis, right? Then when we have a trapezium which is isosceles, that means the, um, a, B, and D, C should be equal. Then we say it is an isosceles trapezium. Otherwise, we have nothing to say. It will be simply a trapezium. Then let's go on to check on the kind, right? It is a special one. Two pairs of adjacent sides equal. Adjacent simply mean they are side by side, or one following the other, right? So you see that F, G, then G, H are adjacent sides. Therefore, they are equal. Then to that again, you would see that F, E, E, H are adjacent sides. Hence, they are equal. One pair of opposite angles equal. The one marked in red, angle F and angle H are equal. It's just that pair. Diagonals are perpendicular. That means the shorter one and the longer one, they meet at 90 degrees. Small diagonal bisected. The smaller one is F, H, right? So the bigger diagonal bisects 
fh that means we divide into two equal parts meaning fn is equals to nh right then non-equal angles are bisected the non-equal angles are in e and g therefore the longer diagonal will bisect these angles right meaning g1 is equal to g2 e1 is equal to e2 okay that is very very important these properties you need to know them because they will help you when you want to solve problems in geometry. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.